welcome to the seventh episode of the Knitting Spring podcast. My name is Tanya. I will be your host. I want to thank uh, all of you for being patient over the last three weeks. It's been uh, really crazy, busy at work for me, and I've been home late, and uh, the weekends have just been busy getting errands, and the holiday uh, last week was uh, Thanksgiving, and I hope everyone who celebrated had a wonderful Thanksgiving. And let's get started because I have a few things to talk about. But first, uh, I don't want to forget that this this week you can find me as Cheeky Monkey on Ravelry, uh, Cheeky Monkey One on Instagram, and all the show notes can be found at Knitting Spring. All right, let's get down to the knitting. I don't know if I showed these, it's been so long and I didn't look, but I finished my niece's tube socks. I have two and with that and then my other two objects I'll talk about in a minute I don't have to show uh, these are all finished they turned out beautifully I think she's really gonna like them I knitted these on US size 2 um, needles and then I because I tried ones initially and it was just too dense and I used Cascade Dream I don't have the thing but it was uh, uh, not cascade oh my goodness I'm telling you I have so much going on um my mind's all over the place I used opal and it was like dreamworks or something like that or dreams time in the six fox colorway or ply and uh, it was just too thick of a yarn to use on us one so I went up to us size two and was much happier with those so I cast on 10 stitches um, I, for these I did uh, 48 stitches around. I knit for 12 inches from the toe. So from the toe to the cuff is 12 inches. And then I did a uh, 2 inch, <clears throat> 2 by 2 rib, excuse me, uh, for the top. And I'm really excited to give these to her for Christmas. The other two finished objects I have, they're wet. I didn't think about uh, podcasting this afternoon when I uh, started washing my uh, Christmas uh, gifts this morning so they'll be nice and dry and I'm going to ship those ahead before I fly out for Christmas so I wanted to start making sure everything was washed and dried before I packed it in a box and sent it off. I did, <clears throat> I actually did an, a hat for my nephew because I made it too small <laughs> for my brother so I think it'll fit him just fine so the hat that I showed you the last time it was a navy blue beanie, just simple beanie. It had like maybe two inches of two by two ribbing on it. Navy blue, Cascade. Let's see, do I have it on here? Yes, I used Cascade Superwash 220 in the navy color. And I started with US size fives for the, the ribbed brim part. And then I went up to size sevens for the flat stockinette in the round. Then I followed the London beanie pattern for that one. And I decreased and moved to US 7 DPNs, and then I bound off, and it turned out really cute. Hopefully, I can get some uh, pictures at Christmas time and post them on Instagram of my nephew. And then I have a matching hat for my brother because I wanted to make his hat. So this one might be too big. We'll see. I'm going to have him try it on, and if it doesn't exactly fit, I'll make, I have enough yarn left over. Uh, so that I can uh, whip one up real quick. It takes like two days to make a hat. So I'll just take the pattern with me in case it doesn't fit, but I think it will. It fit me pretty good and his head's uh, larger than mine. He's 6'3", so um, I think it'll be fine for him. I just need him to try it on. But with that, uh, I finished all my Christmas knitting over the Thanksgiving holidays. And now I am on to knitting for fun. No more deadlines for a while for me. Next birthday or anything that I'm thinking about knitting for is in March and I'm taking a break from gift knitting for a while. So <clears throat> my first whip is something I haven't shown before, but I realized with all the socks I've been doing, I really don't have, I did a first pair of socks for myself, but they turned out kind of funky. So I don't have any socks for myself. So I cast on, um, this little toe and uh, this morning. So this morning I cast this on and it's just 
just the start of it. But as I was knitting it, let me go through the through the details first before I tell you what I'm going to change. And I didn't write it down because I didn't know I was going to talk about it today. So I'm using uh, Wool and Vine Yarns uh, Footsie. This is her Bite Me colorway. And currently I am using US size 1 needles. Um, someone mentioned to me that maybe Addie's Turbo Sock Rockets and Chow Goo's may not be the same dimension. And she was right because I looked into it. Chow Goo is 2.25 and you, Addy Sock Rocket is 2.5. So I went and bought a 2.25 Addy Sock Rocket needle, which will match the same diameter of needles. So I have two same diameter needles. And I was reading about sock knitting. And they said when you're choosing needles for sock knitting is to go by millimeters rather than U.S. Uh, sizes because US needles aren't standardized like the US one isn't the same across and they're right because I looked at several so I went and bought two 2.25 millimeter needles now that being said as I started knitting on this this morning I realized that this just wasn't feeling dense enough for me and when I stretch it out it just seems too airy for me when it's going to go on my foot so I'm going down to US zeros. If this is so, that's a U. Uh, so that's 2.0 millimeters. So I'm going down to a two millimeter needle, and I have those here um, to get the <clears throat> excuse me again the denseness I want out of the sock. I'm going to construct it the same way. So I started with 14 stitches. I used the Turkish cast on. Then I used the toe up seamless rounded toe. Uh, increase and that's typically in my uh, on my project page in the note section where you can find that and then I increase and I use 64 stitches for my foot so the first sock that I made for myself the roundness was good but the instep part wasn't good so that's why I increase um, before the OMG heel because the OMG heel I don't want to give it away but I increase for the gusset before I start my OMG heel. So I start an inch before and then I increase. And I have a high instep, so that has really worked out better for me. So um, I'm gonna rip this out this evening and recast it on with uh, 2.0 millimeter needles. And I think that's gonna be much better for me. This is just to, the yarn is beautiful. I mean, it's gonna make wonderful, <clears throat> wonderful, uh, Socks. I believe her footsie base. I tried to look for the tag this morning. I or right before I recorded, and I can't find it. But it's uh, footsie. I believe is the BFL base of hers. So it's I believe 75% BFL, 25% nylon. But you can find that information out on woolenbineyarns.com what the footsie um, yarn base is. Uh, but so I have this little one started, and here's. The yarn what it looks like caked up so you can see all the reds and blues it's like red white and blue it's gonna be really pretty it's from her vampire uh, club collection that she did and then this is living in my studio in the green sock project bag so it's perfect for taking around and um, I stopped somewhere earlier today to have a Mimosa and some brunch with a friend and the bartender saw me knitting as I was sitting there and really liked these So I thought that was a that was a little bit of a plus My second project that I'm currently working on and these are all also as well for uh, Well, I'll get to knit alongs when I talk about my knit along So this is my iridium sweater and I've made quite a bit of progress since I've shown you this the last time Sorry, I'm trying to make sure my stitches don't fall off okay so here it is it's all scrunched up on the needles it's turning out beautifully it looks super small I know I looked at it when I was on the needles and I'm like this is not gonna fit me but it does it's just all scrunched up and you can see from my little progress keeper where I was last time and you can see where I've tried it on a couple of times so I tried it on here and then I did join for the sleeves, so I have joined for the sleeves, so I joined for the sleeves, put in waist yarn for that, tried it on with the sleeves, 
and I really like it. And now I'm just knitting down the body. Um, typically at this point, I would stop on the body, do each sleeve, and then continue, continue on the body. But since I have um, a whole bunch of uh, Miss Babs Kilimanjaro yarn to go, I'm gonna see how far I can get on the body because I don't wanna have to uh, change yarn and have to, um, sorry, weave in a bunch of ends. So the pattern I am using, it is the Iridium sweater, Iridium pattern, excuse me, by Lisa Much. The yarn is Kilimanjaro by Miss Babs. The color is Deep Sea Jellyfish, and I am using US4 3.5 millimeter needles on this. And I am really, really happy with the way this is going. I don't know if it's going to happen, but I really like to have this finished by Christmas because I'd really like to start a new sweater while I'm uh, at my brother's at Christmas. And then this is in my... Sorry, I haven't used this in a while. The Fawn and the Fox bag. It's her medium sized bag. And it has her, um, excuse me, I really apologize. Uh, it has her um, tree print on it. I'm telling you, my mind is just stressed out from deadlines at work. And now I'm all caught up on my. Ball wonder. Okay. So just knitting away on that and uh, trying to make some progress. And I've uh, joined for the sleeve, so I'm really, I'm really happy about that. That was one of my big goals for uh, Thanksgiving vacation was to uh, be able to join for the sleeves. And then my last uh, knitting um, on the needles project is my For the Love of Rainbows shawl, which I'm calling For the Love of Gradients. And this is by Mina Phillip of the Knitting Expat Podcast. And you can see I have quite a bit finished. And this is hard to show because it's still on the needles, but it's going to be huge. And you can see the gradient of yarn that I'm using. And I'm on the last eyelet uh, section of the, so I'm almost finished, of the pattern. And so this is For the Love of Rainbows by Mina Phillip. The gray yarn that I'm using here is Malabrigo Machida in the pearl colorway. And then my second pink gradient that I'm using is Knit Circus Opulence Sock, the Wild Rose colorway. And I am using US 6 4.0 millimeter needles. And I'm really, really happy with the way this is turning out. And the yarn is so soft, it's going to be so nice against my, uh, my neck when I wear this. This is really going to be, and I would definitely use Machida. Not that I don't like the uh, Wild Rose colorway, but this Machida is so nice to make shawls out of. Wow. It's, it's a single ply, soft, and I love how it's knitting up. It looks almost like chain mail with the eyelet section. I think it's really neat. I'm really, really happy with this, and I love the pattern. It's really great for a beginner, um, and it's it's nice because you get like um, garter sections where you just sort of go back and forth, and even the eyelet sections, really nice and easy. Um, you have rest rows, and uh, I really highly recommend that pattern for a shawl, especially a two-color shawl if you have something that you're looking for. And it's going to turn out enormous. And I'll put a picture of that finished um, here for you guys. So I think that's all. I have other things that I want to cast on, but I'm trying. I want to get the uh, shawl finished, and then I can start. I'd like to have start my brother's knee socks and have the foot done um, by Christmas. Not by the time I get there, but by Christmas. So I leave for my brothers for uh, the holidays on December 18th. And then I go to, then I'm there through the beginning of the year. So I guess I'll talk about this now, but 
I'm leave, since I'm leaving the 18th, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to podcast and edit while I'm at my brother's. So there might be a two, three week lapse in the podcast. I'm not sure. I'll see. Um, I really would like to podcast for my brothers and the holidays and um, get pictures and show you guys of everybody in their knitwear and everything. So I'm hoping that I can make that happen. But I can't promise because I don't know what's going to happen with visiting and traveling. And I have my iPad, I mean, my, my iPhone and a, a little tripod to do that with. It's just the editing part. I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do on my iPad. That's the only thing that might. So maybe I'll just wing it and <laughs> no music, nothing. Just put something up and say hello and do a little podcast there. Maybe I'll just do it that way. So. Uh, but I hope to get one more podcast in after this week, uh, next week, which would be the around the 13th. So I definitely like to get one more podcast in before the holidays because I don't want to go a whole month without uh, showing you guys what I'm working on and talking about, etc. So, of course, we definitely have some acquisitions. Now, um, I bought, I had to buy a second ball of yarn for my brother's hat because the first one turned out too small and I knew I wouldn't have enough yarn to finish the second hat so I ordered more Cascade and I got that from Jimmy Bean's Wool and when I was on there uh, I had just finished watching Susan B. Anderson's podcast a few weeks ago and she had done her um, Arnie and Carlos socks and I really love want to try that so I think I got the right one. Yes, Arnie and Carlos. So this is the colorway I got. Uh, Regia, I've never used their yarn before. It's the four ply. So Regia four ply. It's the Arnie and Carlos line. And it's a shame. The color is 03657. I bought two ball of these, two balls, or two hanks or two balls of these, because this one is, I think they have one that's larger. That's uh, 50 gram, um, 100 grams, but I got two 50 gram balls. And when I was gathering my things to show you guys, I can't find the second wall of yarn. I, I know I brought it home. I know it's here somewhere, but it's not on my shelf. I have no idea where it went to. I, got, I really got to scrounge around and figure it out. My apartment's like 500 square feet. It just, it can't be that many places. I mean, it's just, it's crazy. So I got this. And uh, I really like the sort of, I don't know if you can see it, but if you go online, you can sort of see it has like these um, sort of Nordic, it sort of makes these like Nordic uh, patterns going up the sock. And I'd like to try uh, two at a time socks. So that's why I got the two 50 grams rather than the 100 gram balls. So, and I think from feeling this yarn, I'm probably going to use ones but I'm not sure maybe I'm just my gauge is loosened up that I have to go down to zeros for socks now so maybe I am a rather loose knitter rather than a tight knitter so and then uh I saw I was watching a Naughty Gnome podcast and she was talking or maybe it was on her Instagram but <clears throat> uh, Sarah from Naughty Gnome was talking about a knit picks uh sale that was going on at the time this is maybe two three weeks ago and they had some Felici yarn and I didn't get any Felici this summer when they had it and I really I really regretted not trying it so I bought um, two hanks of this this is Knit Picks Felici and the color oh, really I thought they had well the website had colors on it but this color says it's 59925. It's 75% superwash merino, 25% nylon, and it's as soft as everybody talks about. It's incredibly soft. I can't believe for the price that you get, and I can't believe they're discontinuing this. This is just absolutely wonderful yarn. The colors are just beautiful. So I got this color, two hanks in this color, and I got two in this color, and this color is five nine nine two three so I thought these were just and I, I really wanted to try it they're just I just really love it I can't believe I really I'm saying it again I can't believe they're discontinuing it it is just incredibly that soft so while I was there they still they had other things on sale and I absolutely love speckled yarn 
and this was in the Hawthorne fingering, which I made my nephew's socks out of. Loved the yarn, and I really wanted another hank of this. So I got, this is much brighter. It's a much more, it looks like it's um, Caribbean blue, but it's really like a pale blue, the background. That sort of turquoise background color is much more paler than it is um, showing on screen. But this is Knit Picks Hawthorne Fingering. The color is Aquatic Speckle, and it's 80% Superwash Fine Highland Wool, 20% Polymede, and it's 357 yarns. And I just so, I enjoyed uh, knitting my nephew's socks out of this so much that I, real, I just thought it would be nice to get another colorway. And I also got um, this pretty colorway to me. It looks like it's, um, this is, it's purple and gray. It looks like, it's like a brownish purple. It's pretty close. It's not as it saturated as it's showing on screen, but it's um, tonal. And you can see the gray and the purple, like this purple brown. It's just really pretty. And this is also Hawthorne fingering. The color is Knob Hill. And it's the same uh, makeup base. And then I got one more. And I've never tried this one. Stroll fingering, nitpick stroll fingering. Sorry, I'm not showing tags. I'm just talking about it. And this one is in the Koi Pond uh, hand painted. And it is 75% superwash merino wool, 25% nylon. 462 yards, 100 grams. And I I really love koi fish, so just the name, but I love the oranges and blues together. And it's just, it's really soft. For having so much nylon on it, I mean, this feels, it feels pretty close to the Felici. So this um, stroll fingering is, um, if they run out of the Felici, and they're not going to sell anymore, this is what I would go to next because it has uh, similar softness and feel as this Felici does. So that's really good to know. So those were some nice purchases from Knit Picks. And Knit Picks is such a reasonably priced uh, yarn. It, it was really um, rather inexpensive for me uh, to buy yarn. So, But I think that is it for yarn purchases for me for the year. I have, I think all of my clubs, the only club I have waiting for is the Gilmore Girls Club. And I don't know if I signed up for, I don't think I signed up for any other, oh no, I did. I signed up for Molly's uh, from a homespun house, her Harry Potter sock club. There was no way I could not do that. I love Harry Potter. Um, Audible.com just released uh, all seven Harry Potter books on uh, audiobook. And even though I've read each book at least twice by now, I bought uh, the whole set Audible. So just to have in the background. And um, over Thanksgiving weekend, I, uh, I went to a friend's for Thanksgiving. I don't travel outside the city for Thanksgiving. Uh, a few years ago, I wasn't able to do it. And it actually turned out to be beneficial to me because it's so hectic just having those like four or five days off and traveling and flying or going somewhere that I usually take the Wednesday off and then I go somewhere for Thanksgiving and then I just relax for the rest of the weekend. And let me tell you, I needed it. I needed just to unplug. I didn't check email. I called my family, said happy Thanksgiving, and then I just unplugged and I knitted and I watched a Harry Potter movie marathon and oh my gosh, it was so wonderful from being sick for so long and busy at work. Um, you know, I slept, I took naps, I relaxed and I felt so much better going back into work mentally, physically, just ready for whatever was coming my way with the rush and the bustle of the holiday season. So that was, that was definitely, and I'm really glad I've, taking that approach as I've gotten older to take time for myself. And it's nice to be home because usually when I have vacation from work, I'm usually leaving somewhere. So it was really nice to spend time in my apartment, to have my things around me, to listen to things, to have some quiet time to myself. I am definitely an introverted person. I like to unplug and have time for myself 
um, the last few weekends I haven't been able to, but um, I haven't really talked about this and I don't even know if I say it out loud to my friends or not, but I like to have Sundays to myself. I try not to make plans for Sunday. I try not to do errands on Sunday. I really try to make Sundays a day where I stay at home and maybe, you know, and st really stay home and rest and recharge myself where I am not constantly feeling like I have to do something or be somewhere. So the last couple of weeks, even today, um, just hasn't happened. Usually from Thanksgiving to the beginning of the year is just um, busy at work for me, busy personally for me. Um, but typically um, at other points of the year, I really like to take Sundays for myself and do something that's for me. And now I know everybody doesn't get to do that who has kids and family and things they have to take care of. And I know that's a total luxury on my part, but um, it really helps me to recharge and refocus and get um, ready for anything that I have to deal with. And it helps with stress for me. It really does. So um, I've learned to do that, to not stretch myself thin and to um, recharge and do what's best for me so that I'm there for other people that need me when they need me. And what else? The knit along. So I started a, a thread and Ravelry. I started the indie along. There is no uh, end date to this. I just love indie dyers. I would like to um, have people join in and use different yarn. Uh, if you have it, great. If you don't, you know, no big deal. But I really want this to be fun. And I just I just love Indie Dyers. And I thought it would be something fun just to go forward. And maybe you've heard some of these yarns. Maybe you haven't. Or maybe you've wanted to try them. And you just haven't had a reason to. But uh, so this first month is Wool and Vine Yarns. And I chose it for two reasons. One, I have... Plenty of herds in my stock. It was the first indie dyed yarn I ever bought, and I love her yarn. And I have three projects I'm casting on, just happen to be casting on right now in her yarn. So I have, I started uh, my socks for myself, just plain vanilla socks. And then I have my brother's knee high socks I'm going to do on Dirty on Purpose. And then I have uh, my ribby sweater. Um, that I want to ball up and have ready to go to take with me on Christmas at my brother's house. And yeah, so I have three projects using Bull and Vine Yarn. And that, I opened the thread December 1st, and I'm keeping it open until uh, February 29th, 2016. Um, general rules are a member of the group, one entry per person, just to make it easier for me to uh, randomly select somebody. I'm going to see Kristen. Next week at her trunk show, she's having a trunk show at Gage Intentions Saturday, that's December 12th and December 13th, and I believe she's going to donate a skein of yarn, which is really exciting, so if you'd like a skein of yarn, please join. And um, what else did I say about that? Um, I'd like you to take a picture of your finished object so we can see what you made. Um, you need to use Vula Vi Yards. Um, whips are allowed. Um, uh, that's a big thing for me. I'm always like in the middle of something. So if you're already knitting on something, go right ahead, join in. Um, as long as it's done by February 29th, that's uh, about three months from now, go ahead, uh, join in on the group. Um, oh, any craft, you can knit, crochet, weave. I don't believe Kristen has any fiber. She might have. So if you picked up fiber from her, a while ago that she tried and you're spinning it, go ahead and spin it, but I, she typically doesn't have fiber in her uh, shop right now. I think she's looking into doing that, but I don't know. Don't take that from me. You'd have to talk to her about that. Um, what else? I think that's it. I just really want everybody to have fun. I want it to be relaxing. I want it to be enjoyable, and that's what I look for in a knit along, um, and I wanted it long enough to because I'm not a fast knitter I know people don't have tons of time to knit typically I think I'm going to either make these two or three month uh, knit alongs uh, just so people have time and they don't feel rushed in doing it um, so that's what I'm going to go doing forward and I think if I I'll try to think about this maybe in uh, January I'll give you guys a heads up 
in what the next uh, ND yarn will be so that you have time if you want to join for that uh, to knit with that. So in January, I will give you a heads up for what will start on March 1st, um, what I'm going to pick for the ND dyer. And I haven't cho uh, chosen that yet myself, and I haven't contacted anybody about donating a prize or anything like that. So um, have fun, and I hope to see lots of pictures and beautiful projects, and I'm really excited about this, and I hope to have uh, finished objects, even though I can't win her yarn either, but I'd like to have some finished objects by the end of February as well and uh, start on some new yarn, etc. And then I guess uh, the only excursion I have going on is... I'm going to do a Woolen Vine Trunk Show in next weekend, next Saturday, I plan on being there. And then the one after that, I think I might go to the Vogue Knitting uh, in New York. I live here. It's just downtown for me. So I might head over there on uh, that Saturday and see what's going on. I believe Do You Knit is a shop in New Jersey, and I've been really wanting to go to that shop. And I think they're actually going to have a booth from what I can t uh, tell from their uh, Instagram feed, that they're going to be at Vogue Knitting Live, and they have um, hedgehog fibers, which I love. And so I'm, at the very least, I think I might make one stop and uh, uh, say hello to some people and uh, head over to the Do You Knit group, uh, booth and see what they have. But um, I, I'm not taking any classes. I tried to sign up for some Franklin Habit classes, he had that looked really interesting to me, but they literally sold out, everybody said, immediately. As soon as they went open, and I just wasn't able to get there until that evening, and they were gone. And there was, a, there was one on steaking and one on embroidery on your knits. Those are the two things that were interesting to me, and they didn't have any spinning classes. So that was, there was nothing else really that I was interested in there. But um, I definitely am going to go over probably and walk around and spend some time and uh, do something like that. So those are the only things for excursions. And I feel like I'm racing through this uh, podcast. So if I'm talking really fast, uh, I apologize. I just have, I have so much to do before I leave for my brothers. I have two or three deadlines at work in the next two weeks. I have errands to run, things to take care of around my apartment. I didn't even get a tree this year. You can see there's no Christmas decorations. I have nothing. Um, there's a great little shop on the Upper East Side that sells um, these. T I only get something small every year because of uh, I'm not I'm not in my apartment for Christmas Day. I go to my brother's uh, typically to celebrate, and. Um, so I usually don't uh, put too much up. I usually try to get like a little tree or something. And I didn't even do that this year. It's just been, it's been one thing after another. And really any spare time I have, I just really want to sit and relax and knit. And um, I'm even behind on podcasts. I started catching up a little bit this morning, running through several people's podcasts. I'm like two episodes behind on everybody. Well, not now, but this morning I was like two episodes behind on everybody. And, um... Yeah, so that's what I'm going to be doing, and I hope you're all doing well. Everybody who celebrated Thanksgiving, like I said earlier, I hope you had a wonderful holiday, and I will hopefully talk to you guys next week. Um, and I'm also, oh, two things I didn't want, I forget to talk about. I am participating in the Knit More Girls Grinch Along, because I am totally done with Christmas knitting, so I'm excited to uh, enter that, and then I have a couple things to enter in the Down Cellar Studios DCS Pigskin Party Cow. So I have a couple more things to do for that. And by Christmas, I would like to have this shawl and this sweater done. And those would be two huge entries for me. So I'm really excited about that. So I'll talk to you guys soon and happy knitting and thank you for your patience. Bye.